And I think it's very likely, it's almost obviously likely that we're moving into the digital world. The, the One of the features of the digital world is that artificial intelligence systems can operate with much more power in a, in a frictionless way in that world, currently as we understand it. It's, ha it's hard to build robots that operate at scale and do like arbitrary large amount of impact, damage or positive in the physical world. It's much easier to do it in the digital world. Do you, have, do you ever think about AI systems just swimming about uh, doing extraordinarily powerful, destructive things in the digital world? Is that something of a concern to you or is this something into a very distant future? I think a lot of artificial intelligence is uh, in the name. It's simply the replication of human intelligence mm -hmm. at scale, automated, and pro and program uh, programmatic. Meaning that in the analog world, you could go hire a thousand employees, or in you know an Amazon case, hire millions of employees, and set a mission or a goal, and push them to go do that. That requires recruiting retention, training, resources, all that stuff. In the virtual world or in, in this digital economy, what if you can just program the resources and gain the same leverage and do it at scale and do it in a very programmatic way and then have them actually make decisions in a way that doesn't require you to have thought of every single potential scenario or edge case. That's ultimately what we're talking about when we talk about artificial intelligence, right? And so when you look at that, when technology is created, everyone uses it for good or bad, but both get used, right? Mm -hmm. And so whether we're talking about cell phones, beepers, the internet, uh, guns, whatever, it's always used for good and bad. The big question is, and I think that you know yourself and many other people have rightfully said this, is the question really becomes, is the negative and nefarious uses of this inadvertent potentially? Or does it actually come from a malicious person? It's the intention malicious. And to me, that's what I, I don't know enough. You know much more about this and, and there's plenty of other people who do as well. But I do think that there will be nefarious actors and malicious people, but we're gonna treat them the same way we've always treated people who use technology poorly, right? We're gonna understand it, we're going to identify it, we're going to control it, and then we're going to end up reversing it or, or preventing them from doing that. It's the inadvertent things that I think are actually the most dangerous yes. because when you have something that can think for itself and there is no way to leverage a monopoly on violence for control, it's a very scary thing. And it can, I mean, the, the thing that's scary to me is that it can scale arbitrarily. So it can outnumber humans very quickly even if it's dumber than humans. And so I don't know if we're able to reason about a world, like let's look at the physical analog, where all of a sudden, uh, let's talk about something kind of like humans, but dumber than humans, like chimps, okay? Imagine that all of a sudden chimps could multiply arbitrarily quickly, and you could have like a trillion chimps the next day, when when you, when you only had maybe a million the day before. Like, how does that world look different? Man, where the <laughs> fuck do all these chimps come from? <laughs> and they like, and then we can we can pretend to be like, well, let's hope the chimps like don't get violent because they, they don't seem to get violent when the resources aren't constrained. But like, we don't know. And the problem is it all starts by building that first chimp multiplier device and everyone's like okay yeah there's a lot of good applications you want you know uh you you can make all kinds of arguments for why you have more chimps uh, maybe they can help you out around the house or something like that in the physical space uh but ultimately it's the unintended consequences that you're referring to is you don't know what's going to happen i'm really worried about dumb ai agents uh like having impact when they're multiplied to a million to a billion and are allowed to operate in the digital space, especially as we clearly are moving more and more of our lives into the digital space. So 
it's kind of terrifying because we, you know, a lot of people are terrified or like concerned about super intelligent systems. Uh, I think I'm definitely much more concerned about super dumb systems at scale. That that's terrifying. I always think about um, the inadvertent, but as you were talking, what it made me think of is also the irreversible. Irreversible, that's, right? Yeah. So it's one thing if there's ir, uh, inadvertent negative impact, but we have reversibility built into a system and we can fix our mistakes. Yeah. I think the really scary part is when you overlay inadvertent mistakes with the irreversible aspect of it, and therefore humans have no control. Yeah, if you if you have the trillion chimps, you can't, they're not gonna like it when you try to start killing them off. <laughs> uh, all right, but back to Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Those chimps in the Bitcoin community. <laughs> Anytime you bring up chimps, somebody will say, Joe Rogan entered the chat. 